Sultan must be guided jealously, the vice president, Shatima, says, over alleged plot by Sokoto government to depose ruler. Shatima emphasized the need for vigilance and measures to safeguard the Sultan's well-being, acknowledging his significant role in promoting peace and stability in the country. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this stopping here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Vice President, Gassim Shetima, has called on the Sokoto State Government to ensure the safety and security of the Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammad, Muhammad Sadiq Abubakar III, stressing the importance of protecting his eminence as a reverend leader and a symbol of national unity. Speaking at the Northwest Peace and Security Summit in Castina State, Shatima emphasized the need for vigilance and measures to safeguard the Sultan's well-being, acknowledging his significant role in promoting peace and stability in the country. He said, our father, who is a prominent feature in all developmental issues in this country, his eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, I want to use him as my point of reference to recognize and appreciate all our royal fathers present here. And to the Deputy Governor of Sokoto, I have a simple message for you. Yes, the Sultan of the of the Sultan of Sokoto, but he is much more than that. He represents an ideal. He is an institution that all of us in this country needs to jealously guide, protect, promote, preserve, and project for the good of our nation. Sahara reporters had earlier reported that the Muslim right concern, Murik, raised the alarm that the Sokoto government was allegedly plotting to depose the Sultan. Murik had raised the alarm in a statement by his executive director, Professor Akintola, following the detriment of 15 traditional rulers for various offenses by Governor Ahmed Aliyu. In the statement, Akintola expressed the opposition of Nigerian Muslims to any such plot against the Sultan. Fillers in circulation indicate that the governor may decide or descend on the Sultan of Sokoto any moment from now using any of the flimsy excuses used to dethrone the 15 traditional rulers whom he removed earlier. Murik advised the governor to look before he leaps. The Sultan too is not only traditional, it is also religious in the name in the same vein. His jurisdiction goes beyond Sokoto, it covers the whole of Nigeria. He is a spiritual head of all Nigerian Muslims. Therefore, any governor who tempers with the stool of the Sultan we have Nigerian Muslim to reckon with because the Sultan combines the office of the Sultan of Sokoto and that of the President General okay, of the NC, NSCIA, Akintola had said. Okay, these have also generated reactions. Um, the Sultan must be, oh, let me not, let me not read that. Someone said, I am a Muslim. We have Southern Muslims and Murik support Sultan of Sokoto, Caliphate Isha Hala. It's getting more interesting anyway. The zone Nigeria has been mapped out for total destruction, and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Division is the only solution. If he if he is the he dispose, if he dispose him. After all, Kano have laid the foundation. Politicians can depose, dispose Nigerian one day. Indeed, the vice president is absolute, absolutely right. 
The Sultan is not just an emir, but leader of Muslims in Nigeria. As such, he should be respected and protected by all Muslims. The Vice President, your intervention is welcome, but why don't you intervene in Kano? Other zones are busy developing their area. Why not are busy removing traditional rulers? Why all these not now? To have re-election in 2027, now payback, who asked him to join politics? Uh, Nigerians are, are protesting here he should be disposed. Dispose him, dispose him, dispose him. Satan has for the north, has failed the north woefully. The Satan has failed the north woefully. Nigerians are protesting him. But first and foremost, can you play a bad game with a retired brigadier general in civilian clothes? A former Nigerian defense attache in London, a post he left to come and become a Satan. Um, leave politics for the north. Not don't start now. They play how to wreak out to Nubu come 2027. See what is happening in Kano now. Sokoto calls because these northern respect their traditional and spiritual leaders. So their influence matters a lot during election. Oh, so is that. I'm dropping it there, guys. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.